So we're in 1 Peter 2 talking about value. Artist Maurizio Catalan sold a banana taped to a wall for $120,000. Yes, you heard that right. An artist duct taped a yellow banana to a plain white wall and sold it for the price of a fully loaded Maserati. You can buy a banana for less than 5 rand at Spar, but someone decided to pay over 100 grand for this banana flavored modern art. Was it worth it? Well, technically, yes. We evaluate value with two factors. The first is who made it. There is a reason why a designer jacket can cost a hundred times the price of a similar piece from refinery. People find value in the artist or the designer behind a creation or product. And second, we must factor in what someone is willing to pay for the item. An art collector said this banana art was worth 120K. So technically, that's its fair valuation. We see this all the time in real estate. Homes carry radically different estimates in different markets. People are, are willing to pay more in Santon than in Randburg. When Peter is shepherding his church through persecution, he challenges them to show proper respect to everyone. So Peter is ultimately saying that you need to see the value of everyone you meet. How do we evaluate value? We ask who made it and what people would pay for it. Simply put, God made everyone you meet. Before someone was born, God planned out their purpose. God made them and God doesn't make mistakes. Furthermore, God paid the ultimate price for everyone on earth. Jesus gave his life for them. Jesus paid the ultimate price for them. That's how precious people are to God. Peter encourages us to value others in the same way God values them. God created them and Jesus died for them. All people are precious to God, so let's live that way. Love them that way. Your respect for others reveals your relationship with God.